Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to be looking at Track's new scientific breakthrough, the alias. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we are looking at the new Alias from Track. Now this is a ball that they have designed specifically with a very specific intent in mind. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about that intent? Well, first of all, it has the Alias Low RG Asymmetric Core in it. Yep. The Asymmetric Core. That's important. Are you sure Asymmetric? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's important to remember that part. And it has the prime hybrid cover stock. Um, so even though this is listed as an asymmetric, uh -huh. this ball is designed with versatility in its drilling, so it actually can become a symmetric ball. Yes, when they were designing this ball, they actually decreased pin distances and top weight. So this ball could be drilled in a variety of ways and still get the desired reaction. Yes. Now with that in mind, however, I'm going to be very honest up front. Laying out the symmetric um, drilling for this ball is a little confusing at first. But if you think of this ball as like a ball with a double thumb, yeah. it becomes much easier to lay it out for, for customers, bowlers, and uh, it's actually pretty ingenious what they've done. And it really creates separation between the layouts oh, from the asymmetric yes. to asymmetric. Yes. But you know what? Rather than listening to us talk about it, we got two of these, drilled them up, one asymmetric, one symmetric, and we took them to the lane. So why don't we check out how they stacked up? All right, guys, here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. He's pulling the, the new Defy house pattern. Now, the first ball that he's throwing oh, here oh. is the asymmetric yes. layout. Which you're going to see a, deuce, a difference, a big difference with every one of us, I think. Yes. Um, now, one of the things that is very interesting, a lot of the time we share our layouts wow. because our paths yeah. are so close. Yes. Um, but we had to be very careful when we were laying out the symmetric version of this to make sure that it matched up to each person's game. Yeah. Uh, so it ended up, we put them together here so we could show you the difference. Yeah. Now you can see here, he's playing his bread and butter yeah. shot. It's nice down 10. And you can it see it up. Yeah. snap. It has a very yeah. short hook zone. Yeah. And goes right in. Yeah. Boy, look at him bowl. Oh, Whoa, that was good high, heavens. But yeah. <laughs> and the ball Safe. had good carry. Good carry. That's, you know. Oh, he's looking a little shaggy there. Yeah. He's, he got a haircut, so he looks better now. But They cut, cut all three of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not touching that one. I can say yeah, that because yeah, I've only got two. two so. yeah. <laughs> you guys can debate that later. That's right. Now, here we are with the symmetric version. Yeah, watch. And we're going to see a much different. You can see Woo! that is a much different motion. Yes. Much earlier. Yes, bigger hook window. Yes, much longer hook window. So I think he might have moved in a little bit. Yes. Uh, he had to make a couple of board move inside, but uh, you can see. Wow. Same ball. Yeah. And we were look, at, look at his face. Yeah. Huh. What? 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 what, what? We were lucky. Uh, yeah. When Track sent us these two, they sent us two balls with almost identical specs. Oh, wow. Look at that outside. Bonk. Go. <laughs> and there's one in the. Uh, there's one standing, standing in the gutter. Up, yeah. Um, we got two with very similar stats, yeah. So we were able to really compare, you know, apples yeah. to apples here. Yeah. So he got outside, so to use that hook window and mm -hmm. cover more boards, right? It really helped him out. You can see a little less jamming in the pocket there. Now here you are. So I'd say this is my normal shot. Yeah. I'm not playing super deep, but I'm not playing, you know, outside. This m looks more like, uh, with this layout, it's more like a benchmark yeah. asymmetric for you. Yeah. Just, you know, that one's a little bit deeper. You can see, though, nice recovery. Well, as I, as I wrote yeah. down in my notes, um, you kept trying to move left to see how far you could yeah. get before this ball would <laughs> yeah. stop hooking. And there he's a little bit farther again. Yeah. Now you're getting farther yeah. out. 
and this ball is amazing recovery. And like I said, it's the nice short hook window. So it gets down the lane clean and it kind of rips off good. Yeah. Now, um, I was. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Boom. Oh, I was impressed amazing. watching you throw yeah. this because this is the type of shot uh, that I always tell you to play. That, yeah. that nice down and in, yeah. especially early, keep the ball in front yeah. of you. Uh, and this ball, you could play either yeah. really easily. Yeah. I think we're coming up here to the symmetric version of it. Oh, my goodness. And this oh, is a look, little different. <laughs> you've moved again. Yeah. And you can see big sweeping. It's like more of the arc motion, yes, right? Yes, that is a yeah. classic yeah. symmetric yeah. motion. So if your asymmetric was going down a little too far and hitting a little behind the head pin, this one doesn't. Well, you can see you, you held that one in, and yeah. it still had that nice yeah. long hook window yeah. and finished surprisingly strong. Very good one-two punch, I'll tell you. It's now it's interesting with the the, the weird oh, a little deeper this time. Yeah, the weird layout that you have to use to to, yeah. to do the symmetric. I'd be interested to try that on another ball that's not designed like this to yeah. see exactly what happens. See what happens? Yeah, that would be interesting. I think it would be sure. really cool. Oh look, a little even deeper and yeah. even farther. Yeah, see, and it holds up, and it, it almost looked that time in all that heavy oil. Yep, similar to the shape the asymmetric had. But it still was a lot but more softer. Of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that ever got out of the oil. That one. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> wave goodbye to impressive. <laughs> yeah. Now next we have Cam. You're gonna see a big difference between the two for sure. You can see how straight he's playing, like similar to me, keeping the ball in front. Yeah, more of a more down. of a benchmark yeah. reaction. Yeah. Definitely um, getting it down lane. Now we haven't changed the surface on this ball no. yet. And uh, Cam didn't know that this was a hybrid. No, no, we we don't tell him till after, after. we do the videos <laughs> <laughs> because he he, he has, hates yeah, hybrids. We yeah, can say it. He hates yeah, hybrids. Okay, <laughs> he hates hybrids. But if he doesn't know, sometimes he seems to throw really well with them, and he comes out of them really good. Well, and I think this oh. this one seemed to react a little bit differently than a yeah. lot of hybrids we see. I don't want to get picking on companies, uh -huh. but. Each company seems to have their own way of making hybrids. Absolutely, which, I mean, every yeah. company... It's got their own way of doing things. Yeah. But um, some companies do it a little bit better than other companies. Yes. And I think Ebonite is definitely mm -hmm. on the right track with their hybrids because it's giving it... The hybrid... What you want a hybrid to do is give you a little bit more length but the strength of a solid, right? And that's... And oh, you absolutely see great. it here. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there are there are a few companies. I'm partial to my, com to my yeah. company. They've yeah. been doing them pretty good. Here he is with the Symmetric. This year, you can see a huge Watch difference. This. And that didn't get out of the oil. That time. didn't get out of the oil. <laughs> okay. And that Maybe was the five boards shot. left yeah. <laughs> already. Was, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I'm partial to my company. They do them very well. I'm actually impressed as uh, what I'm seeing here from them. Yeah, it's a little bit, still tight, oh, but you just so strong you it comes it around. Dig in, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Well, I I get to throw obviously everybody, everybody, and um, uh. Global's doing really good with their hybrids. Yep. I think these guys are one of the best at it. Like like I said, I wouldn't know. I would have thought this was a solid. And there's another ball we're going to throw in. A, uh, we're going to do a video for yep. the the Pearl. It was oh, a Pearl. Oh, the, yeah, the, the rip from Hammer. Yeah. It was a Pearl, but it's not really a Pearl, and you couldn't tell. So, I mean, it's just the technology these guys are doing is great. Well, you know, I think you said it. You said it the best. Yeah. It's an evolution of technology, oh, yeah. and they seem to be they they seem to be trying to step yeah. up and create oh, the, the create EBI something. company as a whole. All these guys track and hammer and everybody. It's just they're nailing it. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.